Hello there, welcome to the October 2020 paper 1. Here we're looking at question 13. So, a sequence of numbers a1, a2, a3, dot 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 is defined by an plus 1 equals k lots of an plus 2 over an where n is existing in the natural numbers and where k is a constant. Given that the sequence is periodic, sequence of order 3, and that a1 is equal to 2, show that... Um, k squared plus k minus 2 equals 0. Now what a periodic sequence of order 3 means is that the sequence repeats itself every three values. So what we'll find here is that a4 should equal 2 as well because it will go through a1, that's 2, and then it will have a different number for a2, a different number for a3, and then back to 2 when it gets to a4. So let's work out what a2 is going to equal. It's going to equal k times uh, 2 plus 2 over 2. So that's going to equal 2k. Let's move on to a3. a3 is going to equal k lots of 2k plus 2 over 2k. And that's going to equal, cancel out k here and here, cancel out 2 here and here, and that will now just be k plus 1. And then back to a4 now, so substituting in k plus 1, it's going to be k brackets, k plus 1 brackets, uh, sorry, no, plus the 2, then close the brackets, over k plus 1. And this should equal 2, because we get to a4, and a4 equals 2. So therefore, if we now rearrange this, it's going to be k brackets k plus 3 equals 2k plus 2. Let's expand the brackets. k squared plus 3k equals 2k plus 2. So therefore, k squared plus k minus 2 equals 0. So there we are. That's the answer for that question there. For this sequence, explain why k cannot equal 1. Well, k can't equal 1 because then, uh, then a2 will equal 2 and a3 will equal 3. But, um, but, this, but this is not the case. as its period 3. So it's when it's period 3, it's got to have a1, a2, a3, a4, where it will loop round every 3. But what it can't happen is this number here can't be the same as this number. It can't be the same as this number here. So this has to be different to uh, a1, and this number here has to be different to a1, uh, um, but they, they do repeat themselves every three, though. And um, otherwise, uh, if these were the same, then it'd just be period one or a constant sequence. Um, so what we could therefore say uh, for this question here is that if we factorise it, I'm just thinking this would probably be the next step, then we get that k equals minus 2, and k equals 1. Now, we've just shown for this sequence, explain why k cannot equal 1. So therefore, I think that was a clue for us to work out what k was. So k is equal to minus 2. So if I now do the summation for this sequence up from 1 up to 80, then what I'll do is I'll work out my value of a1, a2, and a3, and then work out how many lots of them I have in my sequence going up to 80. And then maybe I need to might add a few extra on the end. So a1 here is going to equal 2, a2 is going to equal uh, minus 4, and a3 is going to equal minus 1. So now if I do, um, so what number is going to, so if I just do 78, I think if I do 78 divided by 3, that gets me up to, hold on, let me just get my calculator, 78 divided by 3, that would get me up to 26. So um, for the summation from 1 up to 78, then I'll have um, 
then 78 divided by 3, because I've got three numbers that are going to be grouped together here, uh, that's 26. That's going to equal 26 times this A2, A1, A2, and A3. So that's going to be 2 minus 4 is minus 2, minus another one is minus 3. So 26 times minus 3 is minus 78. And then I just need the 79th term and the 80th term, which will be A1 and A2 again, uh, because it will just repeat itself every three. So A79 plus A80 is going to be um, 2 and minus 4, so that would equal minus 2 when they're added together. So therefore, the summation from 1 up to 80 of the sequence AR here is equal to minus 80. So there we are, that's the answer for part C there, and that's the total for question 13, with seven marks in total there. So there we are, that's the answer for this one. Let's now move on to question 14.